Good evening, I'm Lindsay Wright. Some 1,500 workers at three Indiana factories are still facing layoffs despite hopes that President Donald Trump would intervene to prevent their jobs from moving to Mexico. The first wave of 50 layoffs has already happened at United Technologies Electronics Plant in Huntington. It's slowed, slated for closure. Another 550 jobs cut are expected at Carrier Corporation's Indianapolis factory, and layoffs are also expected to start within weeks at Rexnord Bearings Factory in Indianapolis. Former IU men's basketball coach Tom Crean remains the highest paid state employee in Indiana, despite no longer working for the state. Well, he's entitled to $4 million uh, under the contract. That's not a lump sum payment. That is a payment in the normal course of it's Wednesday, it's check day, it's next Wednesday, it's check day. That breaks down to a little more than $1.3 million a year. If Crean accepts a comparable job, IU will offset his salary. Indiana authorities say their investigation into the killing of two teenage girls has led them to make more than a dozen arrests unrelated to those murders. Authorities say around 13 people have been arrested based on pending warrants against them. They're not related to the slayings of 14-year-old Liberty German and 13-year-old Abigail Williams. Those arrests have been among more than 300 people questioned in the killings based on tips from the public, now exceeding 13,000. Now for a quick check of tonight's forecast this evening, gradually cloudy with a chance of rain showers, a low of 36 degrees. Taking a look into the five-day forecast, mid-40s to start off the weekend, sunny on Sunday, highs reaching up into the mid-50s, high of 63 with a chance of thunderstorms on Monday. Have a great evening.